Here at IT Supplies, we sell two different flatbed printers. Each of them have their strengths and weaknesses. Today, we're gonna to kick off a series of videos comparing the Epson V7000 and the HP Latex R-Series flatbeds. This first video will dive into the ink and print head technology in both printers and show you why you may wanna consider one printer versus the other for your specific needs and applications. Let's jump right in. Epson's SureColor V7000 is a traditional UV flatbed printer. This type of printer uses a UV cured ink. This means that the printhead fires an ink that is then immediately flashed with an ultraviolet light to cure it in place on the substrate surface. This is the way that flatbed printing has been done since the turn of the century. It took 20 years for someone to develop a commercially viable non-UV flatbed printer. And that printer is, you guessed, HP's R1000 and its bigger brother, the R2000. The HP Latex R series flatbed printers use HP's innovative latex ink technology in place of UV inks. These are similar inks to those used for years in their dominant roll-to-roll -roll printers, but now in a flatbed printer. So why does this matter? First, UV inks like those in the Epson V7000 have a distinct texture characteristic. Because it sits on top of the substrate, it has a profile like braille to the touch. Some people really desire this three-dimensional capability in the UV inks. It allows you to build up layer after layer of ink for unique applications. Beyond this, each ink drop is cured quickly before the ink has had a chance to spread flat. This gives the ink surface a rough, almost sandpapery texture. Think of a million tiny Hershey Kisses laid across the print surface, with those small tips of the kiss sticking up and those peaks creating a texture. With HP Latex, those Hershey Kisses are allowed time to melt down into a thin layer that is cured with heat as a smooth surface without the traditional UV texture. This is a big deal for customers that want their flatbed rigid prints to mimic traditional lithographic printing. It's also a big deal for people that need their flatbed prints to have an elastic ink. Because HP's latex ink is cured as a thin film layer, it has a stretchiness that traditional UV prints do not. This allows for applications that need to bend and flex that could never be done on the Epson V7000 or other UV printers. The best example of this is thermoforming. Without getting too far into the weeds, HP's R1000 and R2000 can print to plastic sheets that can then be molded with heat and vacuum to create vibrant three-dimensional pieces. With an ink this elastic and heat resistant, the market is still learning all the ways that this printer can be used. So if this latex ink is a 20 year breakthrough, should everyone just buy the HP R1000 and leave UV ink and the Epson V7000 behind? Not so fast. Let's take a look at the inks in the Epson SureColor V7000. First, the V7000 has a much wider color gamut versus the HP R1000. The Epson V7000 has eight color channels plus white, whereas the HP Latex flatbed has only six color channels plus white. Both printers have the same CMYK, light cyan, and light magenta inks, but the V7000 adds a gray ink for better gradients and a red ink for more vibrant prints in that range of the color gamut. So if your flatbed print jobs are typically photographic in nature or tend towards brighter red and orange ranges, then the Epson V7000 will give you better results. We also need to highlight the tiny droplet size on the Epson SureColor V7000. Epson uses variable droplets with the smallest drop size being less than four picoliters. This means that when the ink is fired, each individual drop will be nearly imperceptible when viewing it up close. It also means that fine text can be printed with precision down to a four point text. This is possible by the use of Epson's micro piezo print head, which uses electric impulses to propel tiny ink drops to the substrate. HP's printhead technology is different. It uses heat to create pressure, like boiling water, which then fires the droplet. This is called a thermal printhead, and it creates ink droplets closer to 10 picoliters per drop, meaning that each dot is more visible up close and the tiny text isn't as clear. This again makes the Epson V7000 ink set a really good fit for photographic customers that are focused on the very best print quality. But this thermal printhead does have one major benefit. HP's thermal print heads are consumable heads that can easily be swapped out by the end user as needed. This is in contrast to Epson's micro piezo print head, which requires a service technician to come and replace any damaged heads. In a flatbed printing environment where you could be printing on uneven plywood one day, warped foam board the next, and smiling corrugated plastic the very next, 
Having a printer that can absorb a head strike and be up and running again with a new print head in just a few minutes is a major plus. If this sounds like your current operation, then you may like this peace of mind. I hope this gives you a helpful comparison of the inks and print heads in the Epson SureColor V7000 and HP Latex R-Series flatbeds. The inks and how they are delivered to the substrate are really important as a consideration when planning your flatbed purchase. But that's not the only thing that matters. In the next videos in this series, we will be comparing the print speeds, costs, and other features found in both of these flatbeds from Epson and HP. Please subscribe to be notified when those videos are released. We'd love to field your questions in the comments below or at itsupplies.com backslash questions. A few times a month, Jeff and I will sit down and answer those questions in a podcast conversation that we're calling the Extended Gamut. Thanks for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.